So was it was it tough to convince these students in the start? It happened. Part? It happened very spontaneously. Uh, someone posted in a Facebook group that a foundation course are being cut and there was an emergency meeting where just the students got together in the room discussed what we can possibly do and then we decided the only, the only way we can make the university notice a problem is to go into see a reception space and occupy so we didn't plan anything in advance we didn't do any promotion beforehand it was just an extreme spontaneous decision to go into a room and stay there overnight i think it was it was joined by a facebook group um, and i think yeah, people joined and I think the Occupy UL hashtag Occupy yeah, UL, yeah, yeah. right? Um, yes. And then it gained popularity. People understood more about the cause, and then gradually more people joined. How big of a group was it by the end of your Occupy UL? Uh, it's I'm yeah, sure depending on the better. night, we had anything from five to twenty people staying overnight, and during the day we had up to two hundred people in, inside. And overall, you know, our petition was signed by almost four thousand students. Um, the number of students who are involved in our events, who like our Facebook page, it's mm -hmm. it's in the thousands really. As you know, most of them were sued, right? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen, yes, on that list. Right. But what was the actual feeling? you all together, what were you guys thinking? Were you thinking, is it a good step towards it? Or you guys were scared? Or? No, obviously it was scary. This building stand, belongs stand to the university, you have no right to be stand there. Still Get out. Um, if right, you move, the school was actually suing saying, them for just, just like raising their voices and telling them that this is problematic, I, I feel like that would be problematic in itself. Um, do you think it, it, there was a better way to deal with the situation rather than just, you know, um, taking them to the court, I mean. Yes, for example, actually coming and talking to us. <laughs> I think mm. taking them to court was completely ridiculous. I think it's disgusting because students, as a student, they should have a voice, especially at their time in university. And also students should protest, whether it's about cuts at university, bombing Syria, climate change, students should protest. The protest happened because there was a cut on foundation. Are you aware of that? Oh, yeah. Do you think it's okay for people to protest on that matter? Uh, I'm probably not okay to answer these questions, actually, if that's all right.